What's going on guys and welcome back to some more MLB The Show 20. So we took the first two games against the Tigers and today we're going for a three game sweep. Today's matchup is Reynaldo Lopez versus Ivan Nova. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do hit that like button and if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. MLB The Show's coverage of Major yeah. League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. So striding in, Luis Robert, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The afternoon for the White Sox, the center fielder. Here's the first pitch to him. Robert. And a fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. Hit high and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Mabin. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's looking for three right out of the gates today. And a great start to the game as he's in with a leadoff triple. The third base Yohan. So here's Yohan Moncada. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average entering play at 301. Ten home runs and 33 driven in. Swing and a miss for strike one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The 2-2. Two -two. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And they'll end up taking the lead and talk about insult to injury. Hopefully he's okay. That is perfect. The first baseman, Jose. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Popped him up. Cabrera moving to his left. One away. Into the box now. Elo Jimenez. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Jimenez. First offering on its way. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Fastball called for strike two. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Moncada leads off first with one away. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. Two away. The catcher. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Head to head against Nova. He's four for 11. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Scooped up. He'll go to scope at second for the force out. And that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Lined hard toward right center. Engel moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Here's Cameron Mabin now. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping into the box, Miguel Cabrera. He's hitless in the first two games of the series. 0 for 8. Swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Cabrera. An imposing right-handed figure at six foot four inches tall. This is his 18th season in the big leagues, so he's had quite an incredible career. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning, and up next it'll be Tim Anderson. The Tim Anderson. First pitch coming. Here it is. Out in front there is this one's pulled off to the left side. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball 1. 1 0. -oh. 
That's in. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Digging in, Zach Collins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a two-seamer inside to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. That is it. Into the box now, Leori Garcia. The swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. 261, the average coming into action here. Two home runs and 16 RBIs. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. One and two, here it comes. Just a bit low, tough call, but it's two and two. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2 2 one more time. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get it. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Batting nine. The white beauty, number 15. Into the box, Adam Engel. And she'll take a look at ball one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Runner at first here, one man out. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. One there, but wisely no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Ready for another chance? Luis Robert, second at bat for him here. He tripled and later scored to lead off the ball game. Swing and a looper to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Engel rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as it's now a 3 0 ball game. Up next for the White Sox, the third baseman. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Now batting, the first baseman. Okay. So here's Jose okay. Breyer. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. The 1 1. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. And no shot there for Cabrera. It's a fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Jordan Zimmerman enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Number 27, Jordan. 
In now, Eloy Jimenez. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swing and a miss on the slider. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Harold Castro. The designated hitter. First pitch coming, here it is. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Back up the middle, reined in. And there are two away now. Now in the box, Austin Romine looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Popped him up. And Moncada brings it in to retire the side. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Grandal is really a unique kind of hitter. He bats from both sides of the plate, but what makes him so special is his ability to hit for power from both sides. Yeah, and this is a manager's dream. This does not come down to Pike too often, even in today's game with the best 750 players in the world. There are very few players with the skill set that this guy possesses. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ready with another 2-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Riding in once again, Tim Anderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Anderson. Pitch on the way. Pitch is popped up. Calling for it is Cabrera. And he's got it for out number two. So to the plate is the White Sox D.H. Zach Collins. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Kristen Stewart. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0-2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone, you take one. Slider in the dirt, you come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box, you have no idea what's going to happen. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Set to get his day started, Nico Goodrum. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. High fly ball out to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. He went deep in the contest last night. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. 
Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hit weakly back to the mound. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in, Leori Garcia looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Now here's the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Reyes moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Digging in, Adam Engel comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A bouncer to the left side. He's got a hurry. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. Yeah, definitely one of those bang bang plays. And Looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Now an indication from the dugout is that they will not challenge the call on the field, so the runner is indeed out. Ready once again, Luis Robert. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. First offering on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Maven on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Cameron Maven. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. On the ground to the right side. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Tigers. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Line to the right side. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, number eight. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Grounded back up the middle. Anderson picks it up to second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Coming to the plate now, Harold Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the 0 1. And there's ball one. If you're in the box right now, you've got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. So it's first and third with two away. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. Ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. He is in complete command out on the mound. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. 
Coming to the plate now, Yoan Moncada. He singled his last time up. The third baseman, Yoan. First pitch on its way. Drilled right back up the middle. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Now batting. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. At the plate, Jose Abreu. As it's on the ground toward the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Left field. Aloy. So now to the plate, Emo Jimenez. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. The second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. In now, Yosmani Grandal. 0 for two on the afternoon so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Up next for Chicago, Tim Anderson, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch. Outside, that's the ball. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. One ball, one nice strike. adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Now a hard liner. The one-two. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher and the throw is off target there so he'll reach first base safely now digging in once again Zach Collins and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth and this misses outside and a bit high one ball no strikes. Fouled off. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in is the outfielder, Kristen Stewart. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Two and oh. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Swing and a miss, two and one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Here's a high pop-up. Abreu has a play. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping Cal in, Patterson. Nico Goodrum. Nico. Goodrum. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now that is the third baseman. Standing in now, Jimer Candelario. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? 
And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So the batting order turns now over now and set to go. Victor Reyes. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Strike one to start the at bat. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Still a ball and two strikes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Giving chase is Jimenez. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready now, Leori Garcia. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. The second base, Leori. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. One out for Chicago here in the sixth. And up next, one of the best Adam defensive center fielders Engel. in the league, Adam Engel. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slow roller down the third baseline. Going to be a tough play. Throw gets him. Two down. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Luis Robert. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. 2-0 and now. 2-1 and one count to the Pale Hose leadoff hitter. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. The 2 2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Maven. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. You see that swing right there. You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now to the plate, Miguel Cabrera. He's one for two in this one. First offering on its way. Line to the right side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready for another shot now. Jonathan Scope. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Lays off 1 and 0. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. 3 and 0 now. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Engel will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll. And Leading next will be the switch hitting third baseman, third baseman. Yoan Moncada. Yoan Moncada. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. One and one the count. Called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Goodrum is calling for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Standing in, Jose Abreu. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A bouncer up the middle, fielded cleanly, and there's out number two. 
Stepping into the box, Eloy Jimenez. He reached out a fielder's choice previously. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that's off the plate. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and He may be down 2-0 and after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Harold Castro. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Anderson is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Into the box now, Austin Romine. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Stepping in, Kristen Stewart. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And he fouls this one off. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And there's ball two now. And this is fouled at the plate. No runs, three hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. Fouled away. Another one sent foul. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Into the box. Nico Goodrum. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Yosmani Grandal. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no strike. Out of play off to the right. A 1 1. Lifted the other way to left center. Running hard. He's digging for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Hit to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And standing in is the DH, Zach Collins. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Inside and low, 2-1. and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Leori Garcia waits on deck. A bullet to first base. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. So stepping in, Leori Garcia. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Next up for Detroit, Jimer Candelario. They'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. 
They're starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Popped him up. Abreu over to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cameron Mabin. He's working on a one for three thus far. Fielded by Abreu. One there. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Gregory Soto comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. All set to start the ninth in this one. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Adam Engel. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And an offline throw, but a good tag this time to get his man anyway. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Luis Robert. He was a ground out victim last time up. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. This one's down to third. Scooped up. And quickly there are two away. So coming to the plate, Johan Moncada. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to center field. Mabin is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that brings in Miguel Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Anderson is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. On his way to pitch number 100. Jonathan Scope comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, in this day and age where everybody's watching the pitch count, that was pitch number 100 in the ninth inning, but he still looks awfully impressive on the mound. Hit hard. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And that's through for a hit. And he will reach it first, but it's very possible that he might have had two bases there had that ball not hit the bag. Into the box now, Harold Castro. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Line drive to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Into the box, Austin Romine. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fastball just missed above the zone. And this one's over at the knees, 2 and 1. Nasty 2 0 hey. slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Line towards center field. Robert is there now, and he has it, 2 gone. Tigers down to their final out here. And that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike 1. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And the second run will come across as well, so they're on the board at least. It's six to two now. Now battle. At the plate now, Nico Goodrum. 
As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball. 1-0. and oh. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. And they're going to chip away some more as this is down for extra bases. Now batting. Third base Jay Hurd. Dylan Cease takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Number 84, Dylan Cease. To the plate now, Jimer Candelario as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A ball and a strike. Three runs already home here. And this ball swung on and hit to center field and this should do it. And he'll make the catch here to end it. And the White Sox have come in here and finished off a three-game sweep as this one is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. Six to three, the final score today. Chicago jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ronaldo Lopez earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he finished just one out shy of nine complete innings. Ivan Nova was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over our to theshownation.com. <laughs>